Good morning, students. Welcome to online class. Hope you are keeping well. So, students, once again, I am with you, and today I am going to teach you English literature from your reader book, chapter number four, a story named Mrs. Flowers, written by Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou. Guys, you please open the notebook. And you note down the spelling of Maya Angelou. M A Y A A N G E L O U. Maya Angelou. And the name of the chapter is Mrs. Flowers. Maya Angelou. She was born in nineteen twenty-eight and died in two thousand fourteen. Maya Angelou. She was an African American. That means she was a Negro, but she was the citizen of America, and she was simultaneously a social activist. She was an activist in the struggle of racial discrimination or racialism in America. <coughs> the discrimination. on the basis of color that is black and white and she also became a victim of the practice so that is why she has written many stories and novels those are based on her own experiences or you can say the autobiographical stories and novels so this story mrs flowers it is also one of her autobiographical stories through this story the author says that one day the story begins that one day she was just loitering in her childhood days aimlessly and then she got to know one mrs flowers in a countryside place in america the background is rural areas not city it was town and mrs flowers she is also black she is also negro but she maintains her dignity actually she is not so social lady and her sense of dressing it is also little bit different from others and her complexion according to the author in a humorous manner she has written that she is quite dark rich dark as plum that means that you know that purple colored plum she is rich dark as plum and her dressing sense is she loves to wear voile voile means a, a kind of fabric a kind of cotton uh, cloth or the fabric she likes to wear it the frock or gown and she wears a printed floral hat or cap and she speaks less and the author that means maya she has never seen her laughing only she has seen her that she smiles and that is also measure not so much so nobody dares to overpower my uh, overpower mrs flowers or nobody dares to talk to him or to raise fingers towards him regarding her dressing sense and all guys i'm just telling you only the two pages two and a half pages that means the story starts from page 35 and i will tell you up to page 37 half so this much i am telling you the synopsis of this Two and a half pages. 
so one day in a provision store the author that was maya angelo she meets mrs flowers maya angelo she was accompanied by her grandmother and her sister bell so from there she only comes to know little bit about mrs flowers so her grandmother offers mrs flowers that my granddaughter belly she will accompany you and she will carry your bags to your house but mrs flowers she told that let margaret come with me margaret means maya margaret so students you note down the spelling margaret the spelling margaret is m a r g u e r i t e m a r g u e r i t e this is the spelling but the pronunciation is margaret so mrs flowers told author's grandma that uh, i will take margaret with me because i have something to tell her then the author she was very much pleased because she was quite keen to talk to her that means talk to mrs flowers so when they were proceeding towards mrs flowers house in between the distance they were crossing the roads that span of time they were gossiping they were chatting and at last mrs uh, mrs flowers and margaret that means the author they reached at the doorstep of mrs flowers and mrs flowers opens the door of her house and a very nice aroma which was inhaled by margaret that means maya angelo and at once she guessed that mrs flowers she is baking something that aroma that means the scent is coming the vanilla essence the scent of vanilla essence it was coming so margaret she could easily understand with the when she inhaled that essence or inhaled the scent of vanilla that mrs flowers definitely she is baking or making something then mrs flowers she took the bags from the hand of the author that means margaret and she disappears inside guys in between when they were going on the way that means they were going towards mrs flowers house some important tips or suggestions mrs flowers she gave to margaret so those are the important tips that margaret or maya angelo she never forgot till her death so guys this is only two and a half page synopsis of the story so i am going to read the story before you once again i am telling you this is an autobiographical story of maya angelo an african american she was a social activist activist means she was struggling against the racialism that means black and white the segregation the racial feelings or apathy just like in south africa nelson mandela he also fought for that 
that is why most of our books those are narrated based on maya angelou's life or her experiences so this story also her experience she has revealed through the lines and she has revealed to the readers so guys please pay attention mrs flowers by maya angelou for nearly a year i shopped around the house the store the school and the church like an old biscuit dirty and inedible then i met or rather go to know the lady who knew my first life life lady who threw my t h r e w through my first life line mrs bertha flowers mrs flowers means her name is mrs bertha flowers guys you note down the spelling b e r t h a bertha mrs bertha flowers was the aristocrat of black stamps she had the grace of control to appear warm in the coldest weather and on the arkansas summer days it seemed she had a private breeze which swirled around cooling her she was thin without the doubt look of wiry people and her printed voy dresses and flowered hats were as right for her as denim overalls for a farmer she was our side dancer to the richest white woman in town this is the description of mrs bertha flowers she loves to wear voy dress that means the fabric a kind of fabric just now i told you and floral hat she likes but her nature is quite warm wherever she reaches suppose it is quite frozen atmosphere but her nature due to her nature according to the author she says wherever she reaches the atmosphere becomes warm and if the atmosphere is hot she creates it or she uh, converts it into cool atmosphere that is the author she is explaining about mrs bertha flowers nature or her personality she is explaining